Hey guys, it's Bizmoto out for another moto vlog. It's a little bit colder out than I thought today, so this will probably be a nice short one, hopefully. Out on the ZS190. Still playing around with the settings for the new camera. microphone muff because I, I know the microphone's picking up a lot of wind noise so I'll probably hit up eBay today when I get home and see what I can find. Uh, I got a foam one on there now but it's, it doesn't work as well. Um, last video I made with this camera I the thing had like a plastic lens cover on it. I, I forgot I had to return one of these for, to Amazon because the battery door broke whatever. And uh, I forgot that I did that, and I forgot that this was a new one, and I left the plastic on. So, this video might be better than the last one, hopefully. I played around with the settings, with the color a little bit, and the ISO and stuff like that. So hopefully this is better. today it's a quick trip and got some gas for this thing and this bike was empty and I didn't want to risk driving the gas station with it empty so I went and got gas and uh, I don't know guys that you guys think that there's a difference between gas stations quality and gas between like Shell, BP, Amico, anything like that do you think any of those are any different? Um, Kind of, I kind of don't notice the difference really. Uh, I know my Grom requires only like 87, but I always end up accidentally putting 90 or whatever in it. And uh, I do notice when I put 90 grade in it, it does seem like it loses a little bit of its power. So I always try to run like maybe 87, 89 in it. Um, this bike, however, the ZS190, I always run premium in this one. Uh, just because it's carbureted and uh, it is a, uh, I believe it's a higher compression engine. Not 100% sure on that though. I'll probably never get a green light because of this bike. Maybe if this van here is going straight, I might get a green light. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, it looks like I turned the idle down just a little bit on this bike. I figured riding the motorcycle would be kind of safe, I would think. I mean, you're wearing gloves, you got your helmet on, so you're not like, you know, you're not actually like going to be able to spit on anybody or anything. And uh, it's not like I'm riding with anybody or anything, so just a way to get out of the house for a little bit. Like I said, I probably won't be out long today, though, because it is kind of cold. ordered the ZS190 for the Ice Bear uh, Champion, so that will be going in once I get it. So that bike will be just like this one pretty much. <laughs> has a very loud, that bike has a very loud exhaust too, so I may end up changing the pipe on that one too eventually. Just because it's it's so loud it actually hurts your ears. So Yeah guys, it's a nice it's a nice day today with the sun out and stuff. Just wish it was just a little tad bit warmer. A lot of people out again today. Kind of kind of funny how it seems like there's just as much out during this uh, quarantine than the rest of the year. Oh, there's a nice house. Must be nice to have money. Uh, I'll stop at the park up here and let you guys check out this bike. Trying a new job uh, starting Monday. I'm going to be running, uh, making wire. Uh, it's called a braider room. So there'll be something different. We'll see how that works out. My job uh, ended up getting shipped out to Minnesota somewhere so but it's still for the same company just a different department hopefully this works out uh, I don't know guys that I, I don't know anybody right now who has that virus thing that's going around um, do you guys uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, like I said, I don't know anybody, but I guess there's a lot in Milwaukee and Chicago and, of course, New York, stuff like that. Like, wherever there's a bigger city, it seems like. I guess we got a couple out here in Kenosha, but not anybody that I know. I know people who think they might have had it because they, they got it before this ever happened, and they said that they had the same symptoms, so I kind of wonder We'll stop up at this park real quick and I'll give you guys a walk around and I'll probably end this video. I'm going to try keeping this one short. Like I said, I'm just going to head home from here and it's kind of, kind of a little bit chilly. Give me a headache. <laughs> Just basically doing this ride more for a camera test, but but yeah, guys, like I wanted to know about what you guys think about different brands of gas. Do you think there's a better? Uh, if you guys think so, maybe I'll give it a try and see what I think. Um, let me know in the comments. 
a lot of people out in the park. It's kind of it's kind of nice. All these kids have an out of school early where they can actually spend time with their parents and stuff. Kind of cool. Wow, looks like they got a big gathering over here at this park. <laughs> Those guys have a walking stick. When I went to Arizona, I wanted to get one. It was pretty cool, but I didn't have. I didn't know how I'd get it home on an airplane, so I just said, "Nah, I better not buy one." But it, that was fun when I was out in Arizona. We were out hiking around a little bit and stuff. It was pretty cool. Would definitely like to live there. All right, guys, I'll give you a real quick look around. Okay, a lot of people out here doing stuff. <laughs> All right, guys, this is ES-190 Grom clone today. The way how it looks right now, pretty much the same as last year. I do got some new rims that look like uh, Grom rims, but they're actually the Hellcat rims. Uh, this year I put on the red uh, calipers like a Grom has. Uh, well, they are Grom calipers, actually. And uh, it's about all I really did. I Like I said, I installed that hydraulic clutch, but that was just a bunch of garbage. So that's gone had to take out the trash <laughs> but yeah this bike is still showing really nice uh the rims still look like brand new uh tires are worn out a little bit in the back so i might have to get some new ones i, I don't know if i'm gonna go with these same brand again or not i'm gonna try looking for another white wall if you guys know any other brands that make white wall let me know in the comments again but if i don't find another brand i'll probably just go with black walls because these tires are, they wear out way too fast, and they actually, when I got them, they, they look like they're they're brand new, and they look like they were dry rotted a little bit already, and so, yeah, it's kind of shitty, but, uh, I don't know, I don't know if anybody else ran into that problem with the Shearco tires, or whatever the hell these are, but, I don't know, I think I'm running a 17 tooth, I think, or maybe a 16 tooth now, in the in this thing, I think it's a 17 but, oh shit, I didn't put no mirrors on <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I still got to put my bar mi and mirrors back on. I put these grips on. Um, I like these grips a whole lot better than I did the um, with Pro Tapers. These feel more comfortable. And they don't, they don't uh, like, stick to my hands. The, the other ones are, like, really sticky. Where these are, they grip really good. And they also seem like they're going to last a lot longer. So, that's why I got those. And they're actually pretty nice. I like them. Um, but anyways, guys, I'm going to end this video here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. And like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notifications. And I will talk to you later.